Five lives have been taken from a Raleigh community, but neighbors say they are coming together to mourn and to heal. WRL's Liz McLaughlin joins us now in the Headingham neighborhood. Liz, tell us what people are telling you about how they're feeling out there today. Just a tough day for this community. So heartbroken, so blindsided by this violent attack. And many are in pain, mourning those five lives lost here. Uh, we've seen so many residents come up to the sign. We're at the, the welcome uh, kind of entrance to this neighborhood, laying flowers to pay their respects to those lives lost, to those families that will never be whole again. We've also talked to some residents who are just anxious. They're trying to process this, but they're a bit on edge when they hear a siren, a loud noise, a helicopter. Um, they're just a little nervous. It doesn't have that safe feeling that everything's okay here yet. And many others that we've talked to just want to open their hearts. They want to share this message of love. You can take a look right across the street here. A church is handing out hot meals, uh, bagged meals for those who need it. This is a stressful time for these families, and this is just one less thing to think about what they're going to eat tonight. Many have, haven't eaten since last night, they say, had trouble sleeping. Um, they hope that they can just process that a little more now. There's also some chaplains over there ready to lend a listening ear or give a hug to those who need it, and a furry friend, uh, a therapy dog, who's there to lend some comfort as well. Uh, but just really neighbors helping neighbors uh, trying to set up meal trains for these victims' families and using this as a way to come together, including Virginia Wright, an active member of this community that I spoke with earlier today, uh, who said that this community is going to come together after this tragedy. Let's listen. We can't um, let this defeat us. We can't close ourselves off. We have to stick together as a community. We're heading him strong, and, and we're going to continue the, the life that we love here in this neighborhood. We're not going to give up on it. A message of hope from her for this long road of healing that's to come. Live in Raleigh, I'm Liz McLaughlin. Back to you guys. Yeah, Liz, we were certainly thinking about everyone there last night, thinking how in the world are they going to get some sleep? So they, they all must be tired. But great to see if we could um, have the photographer pan over and show that shot again of people really coming together. Maybe if they don't even need that meal, but they all just certainly want to be together during this time. It's good to see, Liz.